Hello, good afternoon everybody. Today, Leah and I are working on something so exciting. Let me get my coffee because I'm a little tired. Today has been a super busy day. We've done so much. I took my car in, I got it updated. I did a bunch of errands with Doug. I bought a new iPhone. It's just been a day. Stay tuned for the unboxing. I'm excited for the rest of the day because today is the day that Leah and I are starting on the closet project. It is still my mission to get all of this stuff organized and in order before school starts and we got two weeks left. Although Although we don't have furniture and there's not much we can do about that, we do have a closet full of things to organize. So Leah and I are finally gonna tackle it. From the outside perspective, I feel like it looks fine, but we wanna make it pretty and like a place that I feel inspired. Oh, she's here. I'm gonna go grab her really quick and we're gonna work on the closet, then I'll show you guys the before, so BRB. Everything's kind of a mess. Yes, it is like that. Oh, all right, so this, it's not that bad. It could be better. It's not even organized in any way. Like there's no color coordination. There's no style coordination really. Just kind of thrown in there. These are all empty right now. And I probably could purge a little bit. This is the worst of it. This is my athletic clothes drawer and it's all like Fabletic stuff. But then this bin is like all Fabletic stuff too gotcha. that I want, but I feel like I should organize it better. So. Where are all your clothes? These are all my clothes. Some stuff at my parents. This is kind of it. I like that. I have more dresses obviously there and yeah. some more pants and jackets, but it's just stuff that's like not really in use and I want to keep some stuff there. If I go there and want to put an outfit together, I could. My scrubs don't necessarily have to hang. They you could. hang as much as you can. Okay. This Thanks. is so awkward, you yeah. know, because when you put clothes here, it blocks that. Mm. Yeah. And the jewelry's staying in here? It doesn't have to stay in here, but oh, I'm like, I know I want the desk to be here too. Right now, the desk is gonna have this and the little light could have the jewelry on it. I love the little Yoda. <laughs> I know. My parents got me a baby Yoda. Last night, I woke up in the middle somehow and AT, my little avocado, was directly in front of my face and I opened my eyes. <laughs> they make a broccoli one. <gasps> my lemon has gone missing. What? I was gonna say, did Lucy eat it? No, I think Annika took it. Annika? So I'm like, should I try to purge something? I'm like, where should we start? Is that all in your sweatshirts? I think you have a sweatshirt problem. I think there's a lot of sweatshirts. I could maybe purge some. Yeah, I think you can purge a lot. I'm attached to the sweatshirts. But everyone is. It's not I just. Thought. What? Yeah, well, that's three sweatshirts. That's it. Oh, that's because you wear cute outfits during the and day. I have no sweatshirts from high school left. What? Got rid of them all. all okay, none sports. of these are from high school. I will say no sports, oh, well, no actually, college, no sorority. All gone. Well, that's because you're not into sorority. <laughs> so you got lucky there. Yeah, it's like I'm I think rid of I that only have one sorority one here. That's good. So I, I'm trying to cut down. And I feel like I should organize them to be like the ski winter ones. This definitely is too small for me, so that for sure can go. This is like, these are the cute oversized hoodie pile. My David Dobrik hoodie. I don't really wear that that much anymore, but I feel like I have to save it for sentimental reasons. You know I like, you like wasting time. Oh, yes. This jacket kind of has seen its day. I wonder if I could part ways with it. Tell me I don't need it. Get rid of that. Yeah, okay, that thank you. Minuscule. I so needed that. that. It's so little and it looks kind of ratty. It, it had its moment, but its moment is past. We're doing well. I got rid of two sweatshirts already. Oh my god. <laughs> she needs to get rid of them all. Oh, this has a fat stain on it. <gasps> so either wash it or get <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it home for right. how long has it been sitting for in the bin with salvage. a stain That's a bad stain. Oh my god, I can't believe I haven't noticed that. Now this isn't really a sweatshirt, so would I hang something like this? Yeah, it's like a jacket. Yeah, it's like a jacket. You wear that? Yeah, I do. Actually, <laughs> I do wear that. That did not sound convincing at all. I wear it. Did you just lie to yourself? No. Did you just lie no. to yourself? No, I wear it. I love her. Do you have the matching sweatpants? Actually, yes. <laughs> I no, do. I do have the magic sweatpants. I don't really wear the sweatpants as much anymore. These are the ski sweatshirts. I think there's a lot of sweatshirts at my parents' house because I definitely have more than this, and my favorites are not included in this bunch. Now I know the difference. Now I know the difference between a prayer and a preference. 
we're doing so well. All the workout stuff that's the same style is actually gonna be together. Fancy that, Leah's gonna what do a concept. sweatshirt, sweatshirt, sweat shorts and sweat pant bin. I'm gonna show you. She's all refolded. We got all of the workout tops there, all of the actual leggings here, and then these are all shorts, tennis skirts, whatever. It needs to get hung up. Right, so some of this what needs to get hung up. This that's a set. Sets. Yeah, this needs to be hung up, this needs to be hung up. And then these are like zip down jackets. Yeah, yeah they'll get so, hung up. So, yeah. Do we want a little nursing bin? Or since you reach for it so frequently, maybe it it's should like, just be hung up. And then I'm like, Cause yeah, yeah I know, I could do a nursing bin. But then I'm also like, well, should I hang the uniform so it's not wrinkled? I don't know. Probably. This is the sports bra underwear sock drawer. This is the only part of this dresser that really bothers me, is that these two bottom drawers are deeper than this top one. So if things are stuffed in the bin, it doesn't open properly, but I saw that problem now because I have too many socks and now we have this little convenient space here and I was like what do I put and Leah's like ski socks so the ski socks that were in this bin are now going to go in actual sock drawer and I think they're going to fit perfectly in this tiny little hole and keep everything from shifting Especially in this corner, you can't even tell because the sun's not fully down yet. We have a semi-solution. I ordered a light for my desk, but my desk obviously isn't here. But then I was like, wait a second, why is it in the box? I could literally set it here on the table and have a light. Oh, that closet is going through it right now. She could get better though. I could put some effort into that. I just hope nothing's broken. After the mirror fiasco, it stresses me out. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should go follow me on Instagram because I've been posting a lot of live updates on there. And my huge full length mirror came cracked. So that was kind of an experience. So now I always feel like everything's gonna be broken. Look at these birds out the window, Leah. Oh my God, wait. What are they doing? Oh my God. Oh, you can't see it, but you guys, the birds. Crows are convening for a meeting. Wow, they're really, Lion. This light was very expensive and I ended up having one of those moments where I was just really proud of my resourcefulness while shopping. Google searched the name of the brand itself and found it through a website where I could just directly purchase it instead of getting it from Rejuvenation or West Elm. Cute packaging, it says hello. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, I'm about to turn it on. Woo. I feel like I'm a fortune teller. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> that's so cute. And then look. Whoa, that's bright. This thing is bright. And I then like look. It. Look how cute. Why do I feel like this is not gonna hold? But maybe it'll. It's literally not even sticky. I need a different one. All right. We're bringing out the big boys. Can hang three pounds. Ta da. So this is the update for now. If I solve any of this accessory problem and this, I'm gonna film a final tour after. But Leah and I are starving, so we're gonna go to her parents' house for dinner because they so graciously said that there's maybe enough food for us. So, <laughs> we're gonna go get some free food <laughs> and we will talk to you guys later. Good morning, guys. Today is the next day. I'm about to go head to the mountain to go coach, but I thought I would give you the final reveal of the closet. Last night, I basically finished it or at least finished it for how it's gonna be right now. I could change some other things, but honestly, I just felt really proud of myself for doing this entire organization project without spending any money. I used all the bins and stuff that I already had, which is great because I've organized my closet many times. So I do have a lot of wonderful things. I'm just happy that I was able to just purge enough and get everything to fit. Let's give you guys the reveal of the closet.
right, so here we are in the closet. Last night I decided to swap in these baskets. I just thought they gave a little bit more contrast and I'm really happy that I was able to clear everything off of the top of the dresser. I just think it looks really nice and clean and simple. On top here, we just have my necklaces. This is from the container store. I will try to link absolutely everything that we used in this closet down below so that if you guys see something you like, that would work for your own closet, you can use it. So I have this cute little thing, I've had this forever, I love it, my Daisy perfume, an acrylic box from the container store as well, and inside I just have a bunch of accessories like sunglasses, earrings, bracelets, things that just don't look nice. Then we have this cute little print from Society6, and these are the dried flowers from my 21st birthday party. I've been able to travel with them, I don't know how without all of the little pieces falling off. These upper baskets, this one is full of all of my Fabletic sets, so they're all color coordinated. Both pieces are together. Together, which is really nice because whenever I just want to wear a workout set I can just go up there and grab it without hunting around for the other piece and then in this basket we just have all of my beanies and hats and I do have a lot because I always wear a beanie when I go to the mountains so we really accumulated quite a collection of them we got all the pants here all the sweaters here and then this basket right here is full of all of the sweatshirts that I would wear skiing. And then these two are just kind of like other ones that I would wear on a more of an everyday basis, less like mountain themed. And then coming down to the hanging rack, we have this nice little hanger and this just holds my belts and a couple little bags, all of the puffers. These may move, like Lee and I were talking about trying to utilize my coat closet a little bit more, but for now, I think it works really well and I have the space, so why not just keep them here? And in the summer, I can kind of take some of these home to my parents' house and free up some more hanging space. And then it goes from puffer jackets to like more jackets that I would style and layer with an outfit. Then we have, I think, yeah, these are, oh wow, Leah did such a good job. She organized it by color and by style because I used to only organize it by color, which looks nice, but this is a little bit more practical. We have all the long sleeves and then all of the short sleeves here. And then tank tops fit perfectly right there. And oh, in this corner, I've got dresses and scrubs. And then we have skirts here and then longer pants that fit right here the two shoe racks going on here got the laundry bin and then that is that rolling cart that's from pottery barn i love that cart so much and i'm gonna find a use for it so i don't want to take it home yet but right now it's completely empty which is crazy that we were able to get rid of enough stuff to free up that entire thing and i really only got rid of three bags so it's just kind of like reorganizing everything to have a home i think i kind of showed you this but we've got the top drawer so this drawer has all of the pajamas and swimsuits and then of course this drawer on the bottom just being so nice because it's not overly stuffed full of things so i can actually see what i have that is it for the closet reveal and organization i hope you guys liked that video and it inspired you to go through your own closet purge through stuff or just honestly like take it out of the closet and try to reorganize it because it seriously feels so good to have a place where everything has a home you can see what you have shout out to my girl leah for helping me out on this project she's so talented and it's always so much fun to have her in these videos because she has great ideas and it's so nice to have a friend who's just like willing to come over and spend time helping me with my mess of a closet so leah you're the best thank you we appreciate you if you guys are not already following me on my instagram and i also have a tiktok where i post more like nursing content but I post what I'm doing in my life as well. You can go follow me on both of those. They're both at Kiara Madison. I keep you guys up to date on there, especially with the apartment stuff. When I've been getting new stuff, I post all my updates on my stories. So go follow me on there if you're not. And today's question of the day is going to be, what is on your cleaning or organizing bucket list for the start of 2022? So by let's say March, what do you wanna have reorganized or cleaned out? This was definitely the top of my list, but now the next thing is either gonna be my coat closet or I really am dying to get some more furniture in and organize my entire TV stand because I have a lot of stuff to put in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.